Good morning, everyone. After my boss has spoken, has given such an eloquent address, there is very little for me to say, and also with the remarks that have been made by our team. But I want to say that clearly, the finance bill is an indication that the Kenya Kwanzaa government has waged an economic war against citizens and especially the vulnerable. You would expect that during these hard times, there would be measures to cushion the vulnerable. You would expect that food items, critical items, you remember that uh, Azimio has been on the forefront of asking for the lowering of cost of living, actually demanding for the lowering of cost of living. This bill is a contempt card on those demands because its net effect will be to push the cost of living upwards, as has been very eloquently explained. Once you raise VAT on fuel, there's a ripple effect on virtually everything. When you tax exempt things that were zero rated, once again, the effect is pushing the prices up of essential items such as medicine, critical medicine. That with the current status of NHIF, it means the average person will not have access to critical medicine. And in Kenya, we say families are just one sickness away from abject poverty. So when you move critical um, medicines to exempt, tax exempt, and push their prices up, it means this bill is going to directly cause deaths, suffering and death to many Kenyans. It also means that food will be less accessible. Already we have a crisis of people not being able to have meals on their table. With the joblessness, with the cost of living being up, Kenyans have been shown by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime that they are on their own. This is happening